Was ethnic cleansing done by Western nations a real thing? Unfortunately, there are examples of ethnic cleansing that are kept hidden from people, causing them to question the suffering people went through. They disregard the pain simply because they don't know. One such example was in Argentina. Yes, a nation with little diversity of race once accounted for 37% of black people. But where did they go? How did Argentina become the whitest country in South America? Let's find out. In the bustling streets of Buenos Aires lies a tale often left untold. The narrative of the Afro-Argentines. Once a vibrant community in Argentina's society, their story is one of triumph, struggle, and eventual erasure. But why and how was a significant part of its population systematically marginalized and nearly erased? To understand that, dive back to the arrival of Afro-Argentines in Argentina. How did Afro-Argentines first arrive in Argentina and what were the conditions they face it up on Airy Vale? In the 16th century, amidst the bustling ports of Buenos Aires, black people were torn from their homelands in Africa, shackled and bound, and thrust into the abyss of slavery. Many of these individuals hailed from regions speaking Bantu languages, including Angola. Their journey across the Atlantic Ocean aboard slave ships was nothing short of a nightmare, with overcrowded and unsanitary conditions leading to the deaths of countless captives. Despite enduring the treacherous voyage, their suffering did not end upon reaching Argentina. Upon arrival, Afro-Argentines were subjected to unimaginable cruelty, with their humanity stripped away as they were treated as mere commodities. They were forced into backbreaking labor in agriculture, livestock management, domestic servitude, and urban crafts. The neighborhoods of Buenos Aires became hubs of slavery with many slaves toiling away under the watchful eyes of their oppressors. The profits reaped from the slave trade industry fueled the economy of Buenos Aires, with approximately 70% of trading activities involving the capture and importation of slaves from Africa. The enslaved population played a pivotal role in Argentina's economic growth, yet the pervasive system of exploitation and oppression overshadowed their contributions. Despite their grim realities, Afro-Argentines demonstrated resilience and fortitude in adversity. Their arrival marked the beginning of a tumultuous journey fraught with hardship, yet it laid the foundation for their enduring legacy in Argentine society. So, what were Afro-Argentines' key roles and contributions to Argentina's society during their peak population period? Afro-Argentines were integral to the nation's economic, cultural, and social landscape at the height of their population in Argentina. Despite enduring the shackles of slavery and systemic oppression, they left an indelible mark on Argentine society through their resilience and unwavering determination. In agriculture, Afro-Argentines were the backbone of Argentina's burgeoning agricultural sector. From tending to crops in the fields to managing livestock on sprawling haciendas, their labor was instrumental in driving Argentina's agricultural productivity. They brought centuries-old agricultural techniques and knowledge, enriching Argentina's agricultural practices and contributing to its status as a global agricultural powerhouse. Moreover, Afro-Argentines played a pivotal role in the urban workforce engaging in various trades and crafts in urban centers like Buenos Aires. Skilled artisans and craftsmen contributed to Argentina's vibrant cultural tapestry through their craftsmanship in carpentry, blacksmithing, and textiles. Their artisanal products were sought after domestically and internationally, further bolstering Argentina's economy. Culturally, Afro-Argentines left an indelible mark on Argentina's artistic landscape, influencing music, dance, and cuisine. The rhythms of African percussion reverberated through the streets of Buenos Aires, giving birth to the tango, a cultural phenomenon that would captivate the world. Afro-Argentine culinary traditions, infused with African flavors and spices, enriched Argentina's gastronomic heritage, with dishes like locro and asado 
becoming beloved staples of Argentine cuisine. Furthermore, Afro-Argentines contributed to Argentina's intellectual and political discourse despite facing systemic barriers to education and political participation. Their resilience in adversity was a beacon of hope for future generations, inspiring social justice and equality movements. Amid all this, what were the main factors that led to the decline of the Afro-Argentine population in Argentina during the late 18th and early 19th centuries? The decline of the Afro-Argentine population during the late 18th and early 19th centuries marked a turning point in Argentina's demographic landscape. This decline was not the result of a single cause, but rather a convergence of various socioeconomic, political, and epidemiological factors. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Africa's geopolitics, economy, and changing landscape. Let's continue now. The abolition of slavery in Argentina in 1813 marked the beginning of the decline of the Afro-Argentine population. With the cessation of the transatlantic slave trade and the emancipation of existing slaves, there was a significant reduction in the number of new African slaves in the country. This absence of a legal mechanism for importing new slaves limited the growth of the Afro-Argentine population over time. The tumultuous period of Argentina's War of Independence in 1810-1816 further contributed to the decline of the Afro-Argentine population. Many Afro-Argentines, coerced into battle, faced a high mortality rate on the front lines, resulting in a loss of lives and a shrinking population. The influx of European immigrants to Argentina in the late 19th and early 20th centuries profoundly impacted the country's demographic composition. With the government actively promoting European immigration to bolster the population and stimulate economic growth, Afro-Argentines faced increased employment and social status competition. The arrival of European immigrants led to a dilution of the Afro-Argentine population through interracial marriages and assimilation into the dominant European culture. Afro-Argentines were disproportionately affected by epidemics such as cholera and yellow fever during the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Limited access to health care, poor living conditions, and social exclusion exacerbated their vulnerability to infectious diseases. The devastating impact of epidemics further contributed to the decline of the Afro-Argentine population, decimating communities and leaving lasting scars on Argentine society. There was a point when 37% of the people of Argentina were Afro-Argentine. Experts call removing the black people from Argentina as the whiting effect. This mainly talks about interracial marriage and cultural shift. In the face of racism and social exclusion, interracial marriages offered Afro-Argentines a pathway to social acceptance and upward mobility. Marrying into European-descended families provided access to privilege and status previously denied to Afro-Argentines, incentivizing these unions as a means of survival in a society that valued whiteness. Interracial marriages facilitated cultural assimilation as Afro-Argentines sought to integrate into mainstream Argentine society to escape the stigma associated with their African heritage. By adopting European cultural practices and customs, Afro-Argentines hoped to shed the markers of their African identity and assimilate into the dominant white culture. This process of cultural assimilation led to the gradual erosion of Afro-Argentine cultural traditions and customs as subsequent generations became increasingly disconnected from their African roots. Economic factors also played a role in interracial marriages as Afro-Argentines sought to improve their socioeconomic status through alliances with European-descended individuals. Marrying into affluent European families provided access to wealth, property, and social networks, otherwise inaccessible to Afro-Argentines. This economic incentive further fueled interracial unions and contributed to the gradual dilution of Afro-Argentine cultural identity. But was there ever any resistance? 
Despite centuries of marginalization and erasure, Afro-Argentines have demonstrated remarkable resilience in reclaiming their cultural heritage and place in Argentine society. Afro-Argentines who have shown a sense of pride in their heritage and a commitment to social justice have mobilized through grassroots initiatives, cultural movements, and political activism to reclaim their place in Argentine society. These efforts honor Afro-Argentines' contributions to Argentina's history and challenge the systemic barriers that have long marginalized their community. Afro-Argentines have spearheaded cultural revitalization movements aimed at preserving and celebrating their rich heritage. Organizations have worked tirelessly to promote Afro-Argentine arts, music, dance, and cuisine, providing platforms for Afro-Argentine artists and performers to showcase their talents. These initiatives serve not only to preserve Afro-Argentine cultural traditions, but also to raise awareness and foster appreciation for the diversity of Argentina's cultural heritage. Afro-Argentinas have also undertaken efforts to reclaim their place in Argentina's historical narrative by highlighting their contributions to the nation's development. Through academic research, public lectures, and cultural exhibitions, Afro-Argentine scholars and activists have shed light on overlooked aspects of Argentina's history, from the role of Afro-Argentines in the abolitionist movement to their contributions to literature, music, and the arts. These efforts seek to challenge the whitewashed version of history that has long marginalized Afro-Argentines and affirm their rightful place in Argentina's collective memory. Afro-Argentines have been at the forefront of advocacy efforts to combat racism, discrimination, and systemic inequalities in Argentine society. Organizations such as the Africa Viva Group and the National Institute Against Discrimination work tirelessly to promote racial equality, advance Afro-Argentine rights, and challenge institutionalized racism in all its forms. Through public demonstrations, policy advocacy, and community organizing, Afro-Argentine activists fight to dismantle the structures of oppression that have long hindered their community's progress. But amid all this, Argentina has become the nation with the most white population. This does not mean Argentina should completely forget Afro-Argentine history, as it is, in fact, the history of Argentina. How does acknowledging the history and contributions of Afro-Argentines impact Argentina's national identity and societal cohesion. Acknowledging the history and contributions of Afro-Argentines holds the power to transform Argentina's national identity and foster greater societal cohesion by embracing diversity, confronting historical injustices, and honoring the multifaceted heritage that defines Argentina. Recognizing the history and contributions of Afro-Argentines is essential for Argentina to embrace its rich cultural diversity and acknowledge the integral role that Afro-Argentines have played in shaping the nation's identity. By celebrating the cultural heritage of Afro-Argentines alongside other ethnic and cultural groups, Argentina can affirm its commitment to inclusivity and pluralism, fostering a sense of belonging and acceptance for all members of society. Do you think removing the black people from Argentina can ever be forgiven? Why all these nations could not bear black people? Let us know in the comment section why recognizing the past is important according to you. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching. And until the next video, stay tuned.